What's the secret to comedy? Timing. Hey there everyone, Julian here for DNews. Have you ever wondered how long a second is? Now you're probably thinking a second is a second, right? But how did we come up with that, the exact length of a second? After all, it's an important measurement because so much depends on it. Everyone has to agree on how long a second is to accurately measure speed, frequency, and of course, time itself. And as it turns out, the second has gone through a few minute but important definition changes over its history. When defining just how long a second is, it's tempting to start with the length of a day and break it up. 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes to an hour, 60 seconds to a minute means there are 86,400 seconds in a solar day. Solar day meaning the amount of time it takes the sun to come back to the same spot in the sky. And for a while, this was indeed the definition, until the 1950s, when people realized that the Earth's rotation wasn't uniform enough to consistently measure seconds. So rather than define a second by how long it took the Earth to spin around, it's more accurate to measure seconds as a subdivision of a year, or how long it takes the Earth to orbit the Sun. That exact amount of time can vary slightly from year to year as well. So in 1960, it was decreed by the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measures that seconds would be based off the year 1900. Yep, there are people who represent dozens of countries and their job is to get together every so often and figure out how to measure everything. I bet no one is ever late to any of those meetings. Anyway, 1900 was calculated to be 365.242198 days long, which means the second was officially defined by the conference as 1 31,556,925th.9747th of the year. But even while this new definition was being ratified, people were already working on defining a second even more accurately. The thought, maybe time could be based on atoms. The element cesium-133 has just one electron in its outermost shell, and in 1958 it was discovered this electron switches from one possible spin to the other and back again every 9,192,631,770 times every second. There's still some uncertainty here as the cesium electron can give or take 20 oscillations per second, but being off by 20 hertz for every 9 billion means that atomic clocks are off by only a nanosecond each month. The 13th General Conference on Weights and measures changed the definition of a second to this atomic standard in 1967, and it's been the same ever since. Now though, an even more precise standard is on the horizon. Cesium's electron vibrates in the microwave range, so scientists rely on microwave clocks, not to be confused with the clock on your microwave. But some atoms, like strontium, have measurable oscillations 100,000 times faster than cesium in the optical range. These so-called optical clocks have been known about for some time, but it's difficult to keep them running reliably. Now though, Dr. Christian Grebbing and a research team from the National Metrology Institute of Germany have made them a bit more practical by using a microwave laser to keep track of time when the optical clock is down. This may all sound confusing, but basically a clock like this could tick for 14 billion years and only be off by 100 seconds. Something this accurate could make GPS satellites precise down to the centimeter, or make financial transactions on global stock markets faster and more numerous. Grebbing still thinks optical clocks are another 10 years away, but after that, sounds like the General Conference on Weights and Measures won't have to bring up seconds in their minutes for a long, long time. If learning about what a second is has piqued your interest, head over to our sister show, D News Plus, where Trace will tell you exactly how days, weeks, months, and years came to be. It's their own brief history of time. As time went on, science took what we learned from all of these ancient people, the ancient Greeks and Sumerians and Egyptians, as well as people in China and others that were all trying to figure out how to measure this very natural period of rotation, and they created this specification for how exactly we should measure time. A lot can happen in a second. What is the best second of your life? Let us know in the comments, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time on D News.